Okay, guys. Now I want to talk to you about these books. I wondered if any of you um have bought one of these. These are by Michael O'Meara Books. There's the art therapy, the creative therapy, the calming therapy, and then the color therapy. And unfortunately, wow, look at that. The paper's really nice, but the images are beautiful, but they do a lot of coloring in them for you. So, um, see how beautiful this is? But you have to kind of stick with their color palette or take their lead. And they're beautiful books in and of themselves, even just to look at as art books. But it's so disappointing to me. Like, look at this beautiful image. That doesn't, the coloring on that one didn't bother me that much, to be honest with you. But um, these beautiful images, you're kind of, they kind of dictate your color palette for you a bit. But this book is done in pinks. And then it's done indigo and violet. Blue. Green. They also encourage you to doodle in these, as you see on some of these. Yellow. Complementary colors. Purple. Anyway, this one's based on color theory. Such cute images. And then you have to, they're such beautiful books. And some of the images in them are just stunning, but all of them are pre-colored part of the way. I guess for somebody trying to decide on a color palette or what have you, it would be a bit difficult. But, sorry, I'm paying attention to my baby. How cute is this image? Anyway, I just wondered if any of you were familiar with these and what you thought about them being partially colored like that. It really disappoints me um, in some ways because the images are so beautiful in them. This one talks about doodling. Such beautiful images, aren't they? They're really, really beautiful books. But I just kind of wanted to see what your guys' opinion was regarding how they were set up. With, I mean, and they're all like that. Every one of them has it partially colored. This one's going to be a lot of Mandela's, I'm guessing. It's a calming one, so. But some of the images are just stunning. They're really heavy. They got the really thick, hard cardboard cover. Because I've debated racking a couple of these off, but they're so heavy, the postage would cost probably more than the book. Anyway, I was just curious if anybody was familiar with these and what you thought of them. So let me know what you think.